This is just a quick uh, video on my Equigenera um, second order of the year. Um, I went to pick it up on Canada Day. Most of the plants were wrapped in uh, some very humid paper and uh, most of the, um, the bases of these plants were basically all rotted off. So, the first one here is uh, Phragmopedia mini grande, which is Pierceii times Humboldtii. And I got one last year, uh, which I bought from uh, another Canadian vendor, and um, the plant wasn't half as tall and it didn't look like this. The leaves were more like uh, Pierce Uh This one, I, I don't know, I never had a Humboldtii, eye, so I don't know what the leaves are supposed to look like. But these are very stiff and as you can see they're pitted, but I think this is um, due to edema. Um, I don't know if this happened in shipping, but most of the leaves have it. Uh, younger leaves don't seem to have it, so I don't know. Um, there's one, two, three, four growths on this plant. So I stripped off many of the lower leaves, and basically this plant was rootless. And rootless, I mean rootless. There was maybe like half an inch, an inch of roots left. There's one root there, but most, as you can see, this is the base of the plant, and there's almost nothing in there, so. Um, uh, the plant hasn't uh, reacted very strongly to um, arriving here. It just, it looks like a plastic plant for the time being, so. The larger one is a previously bloomed um, growth, excuse me. And so you have an idea of how tall it needs to be. And this one in the back is the most mature growth to come. And there's no sheath in there. So. But it's almost there. I think it just needs a couple more leaves. Um, so I'll go to this shorter one here. This is Phragmopedium St. Wynne, which is, um, I believe it's Henne Papao Tams Bessiae. And um, I already have a Henny Papa, which I find relatively easy to care for. So I thought I'd get something that was back crossed back to Bessie Eye. Uh, most of these uh, bloom either pink or red. Um, so this plant is very, very small. I stripped off the leaves off of a a previously bloomed growth because they were all yellow and rotting so scary rotting and there are some roots on this one but um, I don't know the leaves I mean on camera they don't look that yellow but compared to my the other plants this one is very pale um, this bigger growth it's hard to say hard to say I, I think if there was anything it's all being reabsorbed um, um, that looks like a sheath to me this little thing here there was something there when I looked uh, next up is Wakani sunset and this is a spike but um, yeah so the major plant itself has, um, I'll turn the plant around, it has two little growths coming out of it. So it's kind of busy right now. It's It's got the spike, which is probably not doing all that well because in, when I opened the package, the bud from this one was had fallen. There was another bud here, which turned yellow, and um, yeah, so that's that. But there's another bud in here. I have no idea if it will develop, 
but the spike didn't become limp so I don't know if that's a good sign or not so I'm surprised it doesn't have a lot of leaves but that's all they need apparently is uh, three leaves I don't remember it having that many roots when I repotted it so um, yeah I did soak all of these in seaweed extract I don't know if it's gonna make a difference I didn't do it the first time so and this one which I call uh, Godzilla is uh, Fritz Schomburg which is Bessii times Covacii and um, yeah these leaves are almost 12 inches long and that's a previously bloomed growth look at that and but it has these two growths so it's I it's nowhere near um, these are nowhere near blooming size so and um, well, today I uh, had one in her shipment in May, and it had a bloom, and the leaves were not half as long as this one. So, I don't know if this one takes two Covacii. I have no idea, but I was really surprised to see how big this plant was. So, that's why it's got the nickname Godzilla. And as you can see, there's a little bit more, I don't know, infection progressing on this. So I'm going to have to trim this, this, this leaf off. But I, I tried to let it go and, and see how it, it would do um, after being repotted. But the leaves are firm. I mean, um, nobody's kicking the bucket immediately. They might in a couple of days. I'm very worried about this one. Um, it's always iffy when you receive uh, bare-rooted plants, especially Phragmopediums. Other genera seem to do well, but uh, my Oncidium sotuatum from my first order uh, is already growing several new growths. So... Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, happy growing.